Hello and here we go. Habbage, Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft, you've got it all right here. Welcome back, or welcome for the first time. Hope you guys are doing well and that your secret Friday updates are fantastic on this Tuesday. Tuesday, I think it is. Let's go. Get our world going. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, we had a little... A uh, little morning to evening rotation. Yesterday I did a couple episodes fairly late at night for me. I mean, it wasn't wasn't late by any means. <laughs> it got dark in the process. But uh, back to relatively early morning again today. And uh, that's treating me just fine. We want to get a wonderful uh, bit of progress on our advancements. Uh, excuse me, one second here. I'm gonna double down on what may have been a stupid idea. I just, uh, just had my first sip of coffee and, like, my tongue just totally went on the corner, which probably means it was a little too hot. So then I took another sip of coffee to try to wash it down. We'll see how that all unfolds here. Uh, anyway... Uh, for anybody who hasn't watched the last video, uh, we wrapped up our last one knowing that we were uh, kind of running long, uh, waiting for our uh, skelly and zombie spawner traps to fill down below. We've got, I uh, believe, a protection four enchantment waiting for us uh, back on the table, and we're going to use that for our... Uh, new diamond chest plate that will give us a couple of different very basic first level enchants but good quality ones that will definitely help us out in the world then we will um, kind of keep working here we want to use these 15 diamonds for more picks and try to get uh, get some of those stitched together into good quality tools with which we can then find a few more diamonds all in the process of which we're hoping to get um, enough more sugar cane, ironically, to make another set of uh, bookcases and do enchanting over here as well. Kind of have it set up at either location. there yet. Anything else uh, super awesome? Not really. Alright. A few more levels to go here. So, uh, what are we going to do outside of all that time? Again, apologies for the uh, sip there, lifted the mic out of the way. Um, while we are, or once we kind of have our next phase of advancements going, we want to work on the tunnel underneath, expanding it uh, to where we can, you know, at least run and jump full speed without all the delays and stuff. And um, hopefully, if we're really lucky, get another pocket of diamonds in there. Uh, that would be great. Then, uh, I think we really want to start turning our focus a little bit more to the villagers. And, you know, now once we have enchanting uh, and have some gear, we want to protect it with mending. Make it so it won't just eventually break. Oh, look, Axolotl's in there. What's up, guys? I don't think you're a glow squid. No, you're an Axolotl. Be the wrong color and lightness, it would have definitely been buggy. Um, that begs the question, what do we ever do if we find a blue axolotl in there? Heard they're, uh, they're the ones. I hope the axolotls don't uh, get sucked down the flush down the hole. That'd be too bad. I think they're pretty competent swimmers. They don't have to worry about that too much. We 
have anything else in here we were looking to do anything with? I don't think so. I think we're about set if we can get these extra levels. It's always good to see a stack. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now I'll take. I'll leave it nice and clean for the next time we come back. Helmet, that's first of those. Pull that down. This back. As I've said, someday we're going to come and figure out what's behind this or above it or wherever we've got all this noise coming from. It is ridiculous. Alright. Let's just throw that in there. Just like last time, we'll kind of try to go skip over anything that we uh, might just want to delay uh, coal, for instance, or anything like that. Try to make as good time as possible back down this hallway. something fun to explore when we have that fancy new enchantment on our armor. Right now, I'm just trying to get up enough to put some torches on either side so we don't just have a parade of mobs stumbling down on it. See any diamonds? Dirt, even though it's uh, not very useful, is nice because at least it goes quick. The deep slate, ugh. Nice and useful for the building stuff, but painful when we gotta break it. Here's where our little diamonds came from. One of those nice pockets. And since we've made it that far, go ahead and make sure we get the most out of this pick.
think that might have been the other... Was that the other diamond spawn? Actually, they were kind of over onto the right-hand side. Don't know if this pick is going to actually make it. We got... Might have been right there. A long tunnel here. This was the big coal chamber. So this is kind of a nice way to re <laughs> rejoin the world. Anytime you know you've been on a break, you've been uh, played the game and then come back to it. You're like, all right, where did we leave off exactly? What's going on? Slate, it's gonna just chew this little pick up. I think we can see the end now if we peek down. <laughs> we can't exactly when we're uh, in our actual mining, but. So, almost made it. Oh, we can get this dirt. And when I say almost made it, relatively almost made it. Oh. Good to be back. Much of that as I thought. Oh, don't need that dirt. Because over here. upstairs at the deal. Let's do all of these. That's still going. <laughs> Landed kind of hard on that one. Cook all those up. Yet over here, stakes. Uh, quite. All right. Well, I guess we can begin. Do that first. Dump it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get this prop for. And not bad, I'll actually take that over uh, not having like an unbreaking on it, over having thorns. So those are the ones we don't particularly want. Now, we're short again, we need more XP, but we can do some shopping too. see if uh, there's anything in here that looks really good. So efficiency four, that, you know, that's probably what we would take out of there instead of because we want so many picks and to stack those up. Um, unless we see something that 
that just tops out what we've got. Um, kind of limit there. So, with three levels to get, um, wondering if we do animals. I don't know. Maybe just go do the run. That's what it's there for. Oh, we need to get the sugar. I didn't even look at. I was so busy thinking about experience sources. Um, well, nothing. Um, let's do crops while we try to get that sugar cane to come up a little bit because I'm not sure it's getting much in the way of growth. So we'll come over here, feed the cows, if they're even ready to eat. that. I've got us over here. Certainly close enough to make sure the sugar cane is active. And ooh, that was a broken pumpkin plant over there. Didn't like the looks of that. Yeah, so the reason I kind of had the change of heart here, I think with, with as many picks as I'd like to make in the short term to try to combine and, you know, get good enchantments on all of them as a starting point, we're just not going to, we're not going to be rolling through much of anything. And so unless we hang out there to get up to like 50, we're just going to be running all the way down. Coming back, doing a single enchant, doing the same thing over and over and over again. And while that, you know, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, just do that grind. It'll be okay. We can, you know, make more iron picks and just keep improving that tunnel as we go. Uh, another part of me is like, that's kind of dumb. Why don't we just uh, get everything set up and then... wait while we're down there with the enchantments as we've already discussed so even though we've got a little bit of a weight on the sugar cane see I don't know what happened here that's awful I think we have, oh, let's uh, do all this. Let's check. I think I left it here. Ha, ha, ha. It's the system. It may not be a perfect system, but it works. One pumpkin seed. back here where I can find you again. Alright. Um, seeing growth over there yet? <laughs> One. 
I'm here. I'm trying. Well, we'll have crops. Ooh, we could go looking for bees. Again, that doesn't just directly help our XP at all, though, right? We... Looks like we're getting a little low on daylight. that little noise, a little thunk noise. Oh, this makes me worry that something is walking on crops or something or other. So I guess, uh, since we're now a step out from it, what did everybody think of the weird enchanting little difference? And was that, when you saw the answer that I found, did that seem right to you? Is that something that's that's kind of common knowledge? Uh, people encountered that in the past before and been like, oh yeah, that was totally a deal. I always, always used to run into that. Or not. I'm just kind of curious if... Uh, if, you know, particularly that was just like a known deal, like, yeah, how how had you not come across that before? That uh, was just totally a part of the game. Um, I don't know that it would or wouldn't be or anything. I'm just curious. As I said in that last video, I don't... I think that's pretty cool, finding discovering weird little things like that, you know, little pieces of the mechanics and things that might otherwise have been uh, overlooked or um, just feed a few of you guys right through there. Um, yeah. Uh, things that can creep up uh, in the process of playing a game that you played for a long time and never, you know, just been like, oh, wow, okay, so that's how that works. I guess we were lucky to get through the carrots without having that, so figures we get it with potatoes. Alright. 
very close now. But again, we're getting stacking up bonus. It, you know, as oh, that was a mistake. Should have emptied emptied the pockets because now we'll have to come all the way back down here to free those up again. Uh, but yeah, another another something I, I talk about a lot when I'm playing games, you know, particularly in a, a hardcore type style. It's just making sure that, that you're you don't need to AFK if you're always doing something positive moving forward. You know, you're stacking up positives. And one of the positives that we're stacking right now is the sugar cane while we're getting all our crops, right? We hadn't hadn't bothered to harvest any of these fields yet. Now we've got lots of, of produce from all these things, and we're slowly but surely getting more of that sugar cane to make the paper to uh, make our next enchanting. So here it is. I said maybe we'd wait. Um, let's just see how dinged up this gets as we go. Notice just that little bit of delay where if it was efficiency five, we could just be flat out going to harvest all these. So still a little bit of improvement to make. But with the unbreaking three on it, we can afford to do a few of these. What I won't do is use it on the pumpkins because there's no benefit um, from having the silk touch there, so we might as well just use an iron iron axe to get those. Did I say potatoes? I know I always back and forth with the pumpkins on the potatoes. And now this one probably won't last. So that'll be fun. Uh, what else? I think we still need some focus on logging. It doesn't have to be bad. We're not we're not dire anymore, uh, as we were kind of when we were getting set to do our first enchanting, but uh, don't just have an abundance of wood of any type, so... here. Let's go get that other iron axe. <laughs> wow. Guess we'll use up both our iron axes. Without bees, you can kind of see the difference. The uh, the weed is coming along. Of course, we harvested that in the last or two episodes ago. It was sometime in my play session yesterday. And when you have the bees, you know, it, it's kind of harvest till you don't want to anymore, right? You You start turning those things over. Uh, about as quick as you can make a full rotation to gather everything up. So, Alright, looks like we have a bunch of grown-up cows now. They'll all be ready for feeding. Now 
Now, this is the way that we've kind of neglected. Our XP is in past worlds, we've very much focused on breeding up the animals, especially the chickens, right? I mean, the cows we've been doing anyway. Uh, but we did the chickens right alongside, and that's a, you know, another good batch of XPs. You can see we're almost to level 28, just feeding the cows, uh, not even worrying about recovering or recovering them, uh, harvesting them. Let's call it. So uh, that would be a very good source of XP to use. Um, but I, I kind of feel like we've done a lot of that. Uh, let's see if we can set a free-ranging baby chicken out here. Oh. All right, let's go back inside for the night. We did some good things there, I believe. Our steak is now cooked. So we can now, and let's just go ahead and make that swap. We've still got a few here. If we get a, a hunger for some fish. All right. I guess we weren't going to bother too much, but let's, let's make three. And let's make one iron. I would obviously, we'll be using iron access for quite a while. Hold on to those. All right, now I'm not not really planning on expanding the tunnel too much. I'll maybe do that that opening section uh, just to get everything four high on the the new shaft of it, the branch, whatever you want to call it, the second parallel cut, uh, and then we'll just go go for the experience and come back. Too terribly much of this. But there was a lot of this deep sleep. Oh, close. At least closer. jump. It's a little dangerous. <laughs> I need to clean that up a bit. So better. Not great, but better. And of course for me, this is the worst part, just sitting around up here. But 
more close and if we if we do this right this may be the last time that we need to really deal with this and it gives me a good chance to sip on this coffee that's hopefully not tongue blistering hot now so take a couple sips here while we're going Um, the, uh, fun news of the day, I guess, something we can talk about here while we're waiting, uh, Blue Origin, or Blue Horizon, whatever the, the Bezos, uh, space private entity, uh, had its historic launch today. Again, everybody kind of stacked up and, and doing all these, and, uh. Man, that was another another impressive uh, uh, endeavor. It, it is just mind-boggling, and I know it's easy to take for granted. And, and you know, I, I was talking about it with the Marslander or something. I think I was I was recording at that point. <laughs> kind of like I got the meh from my niece. Like, yeah, whatever. I, I hear it's happening, but I don't care. Uh, and some of that's just age, you know, and, and what's going on. But it is amazing and something you kind of you kind of always know it is on the brink but when space travel is is this is the moment when it's happening when the ability to get out there and do things becomes exponentially different um you know with nasa's great I, i'm a huge fan uh absolutely um have grown up loving the uh, the potential and, and all of the it, you know the imagination the sense of uh, exploration that's still out there um, all of that uh, comes very much from the the dedicated people that, that worked and lived at NASA and we all you know we kind of throw it around a little bit you know oh they're all just geniuses and all that no they you know they they were certainly smart. You have to have some some comprehension and some exactitude. You have to be um, committed to getting results and holding yourself and your teammates accountable. Right? You can't you can't fake stuff. You can't go, oh, we're pretty close on the tolerances for this rocket. You know, this housing of a rocket, so it'll be fine. No, you you have to say that's not good enough. We gotta we gotta find a different way to do it. But that doesn't mean that those people are are different from any one of us. They just you know they they have a certain uh, intellect or intellectual intelligence level that you know obviously you have to be able to graduate school and study subjects and become proficient. But that doesn't mean you know you have to have a secret. Uh, understanding of the cosmos like Einstein or, or Stephen Hawking or something like that to be uh, somebody that's helping make make those dreams come true and, and the focus of NASA and the reason it was so amazing one uh, you know it was the Cold War and for for a number of historical reasons both powers got on this track that said going to space will show that we are the the driving force of the the future you know where where humanity is going the our technology and all that and uh you know the russians certainly um jumped out to the lead in that respect and it was basically uh you know for anybody who's not familiar with the history it's fascinating but basically on the the tail of world war ii when the Allies and the Germans effectively rushed into Berlin, and there was actually a you know kind of a, a deal. All right, let's hold and everybody go in, so it doesn't just become this one side or the other. Uh, one second, another sip. The two uh, the two sides of the Allies then arrived in unison, but as that was happening, already the tension. Um, Stalin emerging as the leader of the Soviet Union and showing that he he didn't want to be one among equals. Uh, he you know he had a vision for uh, 
a communist methodology and how that would would uh, facilitate his security in in the Soviet Union and in that projection of power. And he was, you know, on a roll, going to keep rolling. And uh, certainly from, you know, the U.S. and the, the European allies, the same thing was true. They, you know, perceived a challenge and, and immediately moved to... Um, to grab as much power or, you know, or security as they could if there was ever to be a threat. And I, I'm not I'm not judging um, either of those sides, even though it, it rightly sounds very much that I am. Um, but it was a different time, a different culture, and all of the leaders who had fought to end... I don't know why one of those was on fire. Oh, because I'm still using my sword. I'm like, why Why is everybody catching on fire? There's no daylight. <sighs> Over here. Now I gotta be humbled. At least we got a couple extra levels. Um, boom, boom, boom. Boom. Put them all away. And I'm just grabbing the enchanted stuff for now. And then we'll put this back away. Uh, it's almost foolish to go back up and wait again, but we're fools. Almost have that corner big enough to power turn through. Huh, that could be where my torch problem came out. That's a long row. No, because the torches were even... I don't know. Anyway, so the whole space race thing and, and uh, where it comes up to Blue Origin, um, the... As Nazi Germany was being dismantled, all of the... And, you know, people may have heard of Werner von Braun, Oppenheimer, uh, you know, a lot of the U.S. names of um, German <laughs> prizes uh, from World War II. These were the, you know, disavowed uh, Nazis who had been working in the Nazi rocket program and, uh, you know, were offered... First of all, part you know if they if they denounced the the Nazi program that whether they were members of the party or not you know all that is is kind of subject to sanitization. It, there was certainly an effort to make these people into heroes uh, in the U.S. fifties and into the sixties. So um, how much was whitewash and how much was just uh, actual? You know, the, these were the same as, as people that may, you know, work in, in the modern United States on a satellite program or, or the delivery payload, let's say, for uh, uh, the Falcon 9, right? You, you work on the Falcon 9, you're delivering up uh, weather satellites into space and all that. Well, that that can also be converted to do uh, to do a military satellite payload or you know I, I don't think any of that is is built into like ICBMs or anything like that but that's that's kind of the argument that was made by uh, the German scientists that uh, the ones that came over to the United States and became a part of NASA uh, pre-NASA they were uh, all working in in that vein or, or maintaining that they were in it for the science of space and all the benefits to humanity and you know how the how the Nazis ended up using those as V two rockets to you know send effectively uh, payloads at London and other European Western European cities was kind of beyond their their knowledge so yeah you know it, it's it's dirty but a lot of times uh 
world politics are dirty. <laughs> you know that anybody wants to get all indignant and say, well, then there should have, you know, we should just forego all of the space program and all the benefits of it. No, because that's the progress of humanity. You know, it's like, um, all of the technological innovations that have come from a, you know, millennia of warfare and all that, that city building and concentration and preservation of greens. The fact that we're not just wandering hunter gatherers comes from the fact that we group for protection. So I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, disparaging the space program for making the most of, of what was there. And what I'm really celebrating is the fact that we now have a space program that's gone beyond that single entity that really could only exist at the time as a uh, one government driven, I guess, uh, you know, it kind of was so tied into the military that it it had to grow out of the guidance, you know, and Kennedy's dream was a little belated, right? The whole, I, I want to see a man on the moon before this decade is out for the 1960s. You know, that was capitalizing on something that was already laid and ready to go. He certainly increased the timeline and, you know, kind of pushed through the funding and all those kind of things to make it a, a more realistic goal or endeavor. But it uh, didn't require all that. So now we're scanning again and, and we're going to be probably running back. Breaking three, we're not real wild about. Uh, efficiency four again, we might might just keep those going. Um, let's go ahead and lock that up. Now don't need all of these banging around in our pockets. Uh, we certainly don't need the sticks anymore. We don't need the single diamond. We can hang on to those. Let's hang on to one and one. And now back we go. Let's, uh, let's check the... Oh, we should go check the sugar too. 48 minutes. Yeah, so uh, I I see I see there again. I don't happen so often, and I don't. I'm aware, you know, you can you can miss it and not go, but I don't think that happens quite as often as all. All that seems to be a little early for max efficiency here, but so be it. I'm not sure how many. I think we need at least a stack. So probably still not there. Uh, oh, we already made the books. Huh. Well, <laughs> that's interesting. If we do that and that, and actually go here, boop, no, boop. I think we're in business. We still have a few left. Nope, not there. We've got lots of these. Oh, this feels good. Now, what we don't have... <sighs> I need one more piece. 
Well, we've got that, so we can... Uh, manage a bit of obsidian mining. I'm trying to think about where we want to do that. Let's go ahead and pull this down. Uh, I can probably combine that too. Just recoup a little bit of the inventory. You, you, and you go back. Do I still have... Kind of like to keep... The grindstone that we have over there. In the basement down by where we're killing the mobs for cleaning all the helmets and boots and pants and shirts and all that kind of stuff, right? But, I'd like to have another one to do the... Let's bring those two just in case. Um, to do books upstairs. I remember. I think it's the sticks on top. All right, we also... Oh, I goofed, didn't I? I so goofed. Oh, man. All right, well, we can leave all this stuff because we know we're not going to need it down there. We can bring along the chests and the grindstone and the bookcases to set all those up while we're waiting. We'll do more mining. Uh, let's get a night of sleep, too. Do more mining, hope for more diamonds. Just like I said, it, you know, is it any more or less likely in that central core? Let me get some uh, speed out of these guys. I don't know, but... Uh, well, better than nothing. I did want to top off these torches, though. Ooh. No. <laughs> Wasn't what I was trying to do. All those. Now we can go. Let's check the time now. 53. All right. Well, that was a that was a mistake on my part. I apologize guys cuz we could have been double enchant, you know, double location enchanting here. Um the mistake being that I should have not made all of those picks but instead left um one kind of to our own devices. Oh man, this isn't even gonna help that much because if I go down the middle, I need extra torches. I don't know. We'll just wrap up this episode going along here. Maybe, you know, maybe it. I got a third of the same chance that we would run in right down the middle. We'll get a little experience. And we'll just go for another few minutes here. We won't make it all the way by any means. Um, but uh, 
when we get to the end, we'll just wrap up, you know, park it <laughs> and uh, come back for the next one. When we do that, then we'll have uh, a chance to go down, do some more mob grinding, get get that next pick's enchantment, right? And, you know, as we use these up, we can uh, kind of make a, a switch into a little bit more diamond for speed, but uh, that is just such a bummer, not having the diamond, that one diamond we need to make that second table. And I guess, you know, maybe, maybe we should pick up the the enchanting table we do have at the house and move it. I kind of, I kind of resist against that in the the to whatever extent you know it's uh, role playing of of Minecraft stuff. You know, like hey, we got a house, we we made an enchanting table. It's got all the power of the bookcases coming. That wouldn't typically be something you just then hit with a, a pickaxe and move to a new location. You'd think that would mess things up a little bit. But uh, the reality of the game is we could uh, definitely improve that hunt for... <laughs> Did you see me take talk myself into it there? We can, uh, can come a long way in terms of getting more diamonds uh, if we can get more of these picks set up to the point where we can actually risk using them. And it's really that one one wide path thing. We've got to get out of that mode so we can move back and forth. All right. So we have a diamond. We don't have a silk touch. Uh, can we do it? Am I going to break this? Eh. I forgot that the silk touch was on the axe, not the pick. Um, this could be a disaster, guys. We may go to no enchanting. Okay. Woo. And now we need a new stone to fix the hole in the floor. Because efficiency 5 is efficient. Uh, downstairs. I feel, feel that end of episode tease sneeze, too. All right, this is going to work out better for a timing, too. So we need our second enchanting table for here. Let's clean up all this nonsense. Granite. Cobble. Gravel. Flint. Redstone. Put you away before we unnecessarily use you. Uh, well, I'm glad we didn't break it. That was a big risk. I really didn't know if it would uh, if it would hold up. But that that fits in more. It makes me feel better about the role playing part. We've got uh, got some. Reason, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, some plausibility. How about that? About moving a stack of or a an enchanting table. There's that, there's that, just a mess of random stuff. Um, now that we're, I think we're going to wrap up here, and then we'll start out the next episode going to, uh, going to load up our new enchanter. Anything in these? It's cool. Okay. We finish that. Any 
anymore. Okay, so next episode, we take all of our one. Oh, now we need to get. See, this is why I gotta talk through this before we actually wrap up. So now, we do take. Uh, we got bows down there. Let's leave one pick. A couple books. Take the lapis. Uh, leave the diamond. Yeah. So that'll be all good. Uh, well, should we make another anvil? Probably. Since we just made some iron blocks. All right. Now, I think we are good. We can take this iron sword down too and use it to harvest. Uh, I think we are good. We'll we'll go back down. We'll set up shop. We'll do some uh, level farming. I think our next one that we were going to do was the uh, efficiency on the pick. Just look at picks and books um, to the point where we're not getting efficiency fours offered on the books or on the picks. Um, and hopefully at some point along the way, see a, a silk touch. That would be really good. But uh, also something for the boots and then just books to, uh, to stack things onto the tools that we already have. So hopefully uh, by the end of the next episode, we'll be doing some some higher speed mining so that's the goal anyway i want to thank you guys so much for kind of a a little discombobulated episode but we got where we needed to go we've are on the brink of double enchanting as soon as we just find that next pocket of diamonds we'll be all set and aside from the one mistake of making too many picks eh, we're, we'll brush that off we'll be all right uh, but just a good reminder, always keep a little a little extra stockpile of diamonds because you never know what you're forgetting you might need them for. Anyway, let's get this saved and out of the way. Let's uh, thank you guys, as I always like to do, uh, because I, I really do appreciate seeing you guys um, popping in up there, even, you know, even as the... Uh, video production kind of ups and downs, you know, yeah, a couple one-dayers here over the weekend and then right back at it but i like to see you guys are keeping up with those so thank you and always remember i appreciate the likes or uh or dropping a comment in to let me know what pieces are or what videos you do or don't like and uh think about hitting that subscribe button so you guys know what's coming next but until those next videos i hope you guys do take care enjoy a good break i'm gonna step outside uh but try to be back here quick so we can at least get in one more before i expect our lawn folks will show up on a tuesday as beautiful as this one so we'll keep going until we get interrupted but you guys have a wonderful little break we'll see you next time bye